better. They look a lot better. They look a lot bigger now. Honestly, yeah. These things are small. Alrighty, it's a new day today. Got some big things sitting in my seat next to me here. Got that new uh, steering box. The truck needs one. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Uh, it's very fucking sloppy, so not surprised by that. Second gen things, you know, the pink truck, I need one. I put a red head in it. Uh, for this one, I was just curious on like the quality of different boxes and stuff. And I know everyone says that redhead's really good and stuff. I got, people are gonna make fun of me. I got an OEM one just to see the difference and I wanna see how long it lasts. I'm just curious and it doesn't matter. The price, they're cheap enough anyway. So I just got one to see. And I mean, what I really want is hydraulic steering, but I don't know enough about that and no one seems to wanna to help me figure it out. I've heard really good things about hydraulic steering, um, backyard fab. I was talking to him and he explained everything to me, but I still like, I don't know, I'm, I was like, maybe I'll just take it to him and he'll he'll do it or teach me. But uh, he's like, yeah, uh, hydraulic steering. He's like, I turned 44s on dry pavement, like without moving. I'm like, that's pretty, that sounds pretty nice. Driving home right now, mm, let's get this box put in, see what we're working with here. Remanufactured. Roast me now in the comments section. Don't care. Ready, here we go. This is gonna be the uh, the workstation right here. There we go. Let's get it. All right, I changed my mind. We're going to the back. So, uh, beautiful, important instructions. I'm actually, I'm actually glad it came with the instructions because I have no clue what I'm doing. So. Uh, I was going to do YouTube, but uh, I'll try to look at this, but I'll probably do YouTube anyway. Here she is. Don't void your warranty. Always do whatever it says. Remanufactured. I wonder if this thing will spin 40s. Or actually, I got bigger tires on the way. Eh, this is, it's a learning process. So when I said it wasn't going to fit in the garage, definitely not. But, uh... Yes, sir. Just purchase. No, I'm just kidding. I got my buddy Brad storing his car here for the winter. Doesn't want salt on it. Those brakes look fantastic, though, from sitting. But uh, got that GT350, that 5.2 V8, six-speed manual. Love this freaking red color, too. This fits in the garage. But if this fits like this, this... Yeah, that's not fitting in the garage. Now that the wheels are off the ground... There's the uh, pitman arm, there's the steering steering gear. So when I turn the wheel, I'm gonna turn this. It's hard, to, it's hard to see on camera, but there's a lot of play in there. <laughs> Alrighty, four bolts are out. I got the sway bar hanging down here now. It was attached up here. Gotta get this brace out next, right here. Uh, then the steering box is right here, so. Dang, I got a rock light right there too. All right, so I'm headed uh, to the auto parts store real quick. I gotta get a pitman arm puller, which I knew. I don't know why I didn't get one earlier. And then I gotta get um, the power steering fluid. Also dumb, but it's like two minutes from my house. I was just trying to gather a list in case I needed anything else, but uh, those are the only things I need. So I'm going to get those now and uh, get that get that pitman arm out and we'll be looking good. Ooh, there's a nasty fourth gen up here. Oh, that's Tristan. Hold up. My boy. I just got the kit, got all this fun stuff inside. Went to Advanced Auto Parts, 150 bucks, and then they said when I bring it back, get all my money back. So that's a good deal to me. All right, so I got the pitman arm puller up here, and then obviously it just goes on the top. Twist this, it'll pull it down, and then uh, we'll see how those threads are looking. They look all right from up here, but there's only one way to find out. All righty, she's a little dirty. It was leaking pretty bad. It pulled off really easily on mine. There's all that fluid in there, just lubing it up. So here's the, uh, 
Here's the Pittman arm. And we'll uh, start taking this bad boy out. Next, I'm gonna take this bolt out right here. This will disconnect the steering box to the steering shaft. Um, I'm gonna have Vera go in there and hold the wheel so that it doesn't spin. Got some helpers. All right, so that line right there, I was gonna take that off next, but I'm having a hard time getting in there. So I'm gonna take the actual gearbox off on the side right there. And then uh, hopefully it'll let down a little bit cause it's got this, this hose up here. So hopefully I can bring it down a little bit and I'll have more room to play with it. All right, so I just got that one line off. I still have the one to the right of it to get off, but uh, that fluid's starting to drip out of there. Luckily I got my metal flower bucket to help collect everything. She is. Go, the lines are out. The box is out. Look at that fucking old ass thing. Here's the new one. So uh, we're gonna get that back up there. Took the uh, cap off, let that fluid drain out. Looking good. New box. I just put it in just a little bit so it holds it up there. It's not easy to hold this 30 pound thing up here. Well, you gotta do these lines up here and stuff, but uh, she looks a lot nicer than the other one. Makes that frame off look good, actually. Finally here. Brad's getting his shit box out of my garage. Finally, bro. I'm gonna sell it to Joliet. You pull it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they said $25 for cars, just so you know. Damn, that's pretty good money right there. Yeah, it's worth it, bro. This thing's junk. Gotta get it out. hand built with pride. <laughs> Gay ass built this car. It literally says it right there. Ford pride. built with pride. It's about time. <laughs> you guys dude idiots no cop no stop apparently he thought this was a cop probably right here his brothers two trash cans let's hope he scrapes the garage rust just falling off of the car I just can't get away from a rusty it's all right put it in storage bro so you don't get rust not a few times I needed that sodium